Today, we're exploring prefab homes in the Czech Republic and the United States. Welcome back to our channel. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell to receive our latest videos and be a part of the community if you haven't done so yet. Glad to have supporters. Let's explore Prefab House by Kodo and Abodu. Prefabricated housing company Kodo has designed a cabin-like ADU or accessory dwelling unit that can be delivered in sites in San Jose, California in two weeks. Kodo, a British startup that designs and manufactures modular, prefabricated cabins, teamed up with American home builder Obodu to bring the latest version of its pair-packed tiny homes to the U.S. The prefab units are designed to be used to form vacation homes, guest accommodations, or extra space in a backyard. They are produced by a Bay Area fabricator and can be delivered to local sites in two weeks or other areas in the U.S. within 4 to 12 weeks of purchase. It's designed with a limited width of 14 feet or 4.26 meters so they can be transported by truck straight to site. As the latest in Kodo's prefab series, this model is designed to demonstrate Scandinavian simplicity with a California twist. Each comprises a simple structure clad in weathered wood siding and topped by a sheet metal gabled roof. The compact layout fits one bedroom and a bathroom, an open plan living room and dining room, and a galley kitchen. A floor to ceiling pivoting glass wall allows the interior of the home to open to the exterior, making the most of California's warm climate. Inside the unit encompasses 495 square feet or 45.98 square meters of living space. A number of space-saving elements are included, allowing the occupants to maximize the tight quarters. Different degrees of customization are also available to buyers, ranging from a bare-bones shell to a furnished home. Meet Lake Cabin designed by FAM Architecti. The replacement of an old cabin on a lake shore in northern Bohemia, Czech Republic, respects the unique natural character of the site and follows the cabin's original outline. The brief of the project was to provide an all-year-round retreat for the client's yachting passion with minimum typology and maximum visual connections to the lake and the surrounding pine forest. The single pitch is a result of internal spatial planning as well as the relationship to the lake shore axis represented by the mooring pier as a principal access point. The interior of the cabin is accessible through the large window opening and is designed as a continuous space open to the roof. The tall end includes a sleeping gallery with a compact black box underneath containing minimal kitchen, toilet, and shower facilities. The principal wall of the interior forms a deep, full-length cupboard for storage with a built-in fireplace. The continuity of the interior is enhanced by the unifying jangled timber cladding sealed in white oil finish, which gives it a feeling of a cave-like retreat. The floor is a sand-colored cement screed relating to the sandy ground of the beach around the cabin. 
The main focus of the space is on the vast views of the lake and on the relationship of the cabin with its natural surroundings. The exterior large cladding reflects the verticality of the pine trees. One of the practical issues of the project was safety of the building when not in use. Fixed and folding shutters with identical large cladding protect the openings and when closed result in a continuous elevation effect. Meet another dwelling in Czech Republic. It's called the Zilvar. It's located on the outskirts of a small village in eastern Bohemia surrounded by fields and forests. The client's wish was to design an open-plan, low-energy wooden house to improve the closeness of all three members of the family and provide direct impact by the surrounding nature. A microclimate of frequent rain, strong western winds and eastern sun was considered together with the need for calm and peace away from the busy modern world to make for ideal year-long living. The inspiration for Zilbar's shape came from the client's four-year-old son who wanted the building to represent an arthropod sloping towards the enormous oak tree. The southern sloped roof leaning away from the crown of this oak makes you feel you're in the tree itself, whereas the northern sloped roof turned in the opposite direction provides a wonderful view over the distant countryside. An outdoor space protected from the rain surrounds the northern entrance and is graduated on the east side providing a dry outdoor area all year round. The facade, roof and interior are all made of large boards. However, the outside wood cladding uses a burn and stain technique for longer lasting life. The main living space has large format glazing to take advantage of solar gain in winter, whereas in summer, the large wooden sliding shutters provide protection against the sun radiation. Each part, both inside and out, together with the sunlight, dramatically changes the shape of the house and makes you feel like an explorer in a canyon. It's a very refreshing and peaceful haven for its residents and their visitors. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the bell to hear about our latest videos if you haven't done so yet. Stay tuned.